The lengths of pregnancies are normally distributed with the mean of 269 days. So that's going to be our mu. So mu is 269. And a standard deviation of 15 days. That's sigma. So we have two questions. Uh, part A. Find the probability of a pregnancy lasting 309 days or longer. So we want the probability that a pregnancy, which we'll call x, that's the length of our pregnancy, is 309 days or longer. So that means we have to use the greater than or equal to symbol. All right. So now we'll go to StatCrunch. So click on Question Help and StatCrunch. And we'll use the normal calculator. So we go to Stat, Calculators, Normal. All right. Then we enter the mean. The mean is 269. 269. Standard deviation is 15. And 309 or longer. So greater than or equal to 309. Click Compute. And there's the answer. So it looks like it wants four decimals. So 0 0.0038. I'll go ahead and write it down. So 0 0.0038. Let's type it in. 0 0.0038. Excellent. Babies who are born on or before blank days are considered premature. Okay, let's go back and read the question up here. If the length of the pregnancy is in the lowest 2%, then the baby is premature. Find the length that separates ba premature babies from those who are not premature. So the key word here is lowest 2%. So lowest 2%. So we're looking for the cutoff value that separates the lowest 2% from everyone else. So low is 2%. That's going to be over here. So this is 2%. And x here is the number of days. So because it's lowest, we shade to the left. And so we want the probability that x is less than or equal to. And then blank. And that should be equal to 2%. So 2% in decimal form is 0 0.02. All right, so now we'll go back to StatCrunch. So question help, stat crunch. So you go to stat, calculators, then go to normal. Okay. And the mean here is 269. 269. Standard deviation is 15. And we said low is 2%. So less than or equal to, and then you put the 2% in the second box. Hit compute. And there's the answer, 238. 238. So we go back over here and enter 238. So just to recap, if the question said uh, low is 5%, it would be exactly the same, except you would put a 0.05 here. If it said lowest 10%, it would be exactly the same, except you would put 0.1 here. If it said something like top or highest, then you would pick greater than or equal to and do the same thing. So if it says bottom, lowest, shortest, smallest, you always want to pick less than. If it says top, highest, biggest, largest, tallest, you want to pick greater than. So, so shortest, smallest, cheap trick, lowest, percent. You want to pick less than, and then that percentage goes in the second box as a decimal in stack crunch. If it says tallest, biggest, highest, you know, percent, then you want to pick greater than, and again, that percentage goes in the second box. That works uh, for all of these problems.